Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 7th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had quite the gyration in the market with a bit of a punishing gap down and um, drama everywhere. We popped up and then we'd rip back down and then we'd pop back up and rip back down. And then we finally heard some news that the Democrats um, received an olive leaf from the Republicans on the debt ceiling for a very short-term solution. And the market seemed to really like that and rallied substantially off those lows. Also, we had kind of a surprise. Uh, well, at least it was a big surprise to me that our ADP number came in so strong yesterday. So that helped out as well. And that changes the picture of the chart right, um, right now and maybe um, could provide some additional levity to the market. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Well, yesterday was pretty wild in the morning session, and then we got going in the afternoon. And this morning, we're looking for a big pump up here in the pre-market. Unfortunately, we still have a stumbling block, and we'll talk about that here in just a moment. Um, let's take a look at the technicals, uh, the price action in the charts. Remember, as we continue to rally back up in this chart, we have these downtrends that we need to deal with. We shot all the way up there, if you remember, and then completely reversed on the day. And then we still have this little downtrend in play right here in the chart. Besides that, we still have resistance levels doggone resistance levels in the chart let me just draw a nice straight line across there so we have a resistance line area right in here that we're going to have to get through I should let me pull that down just a little bit right in there we need to bump up through that area in the chart and if we can get through that let's keep in mind we still have more resistance in the chart above that we're going to have to get through so i would even though we're bullish this morning i want to caution everyone for about being a little bit careful you know when you chase into a move like this remember the stop loss could be all the way back down here and when we chase into a move like this we've got to be really really careful because right up in these areas is where we could find those entrenched bears and then we still have this data coming out yet this week that could cause some of those stumbling blocks in the chart. So keep that in mind. Let's also remember that although the rally is happening, it hasn't improved our technicals in the chart. Notice our 50 day moving average is still in decline. So we could rally all the way back up to that 50 day moving average still find that failure here in the market so be kind of careful trade this for the short term and watch carefully because this volatility is not likely to go away remember even though the d's offered i mean the the r's offered the d's a little bit of a short-term relief uh to the debt ceiling solution um the d's really don't like it and um, that battle is likely to continue for some time now. Um, could, could go right up to the deadline. So we may not be done with that as well. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now our SPY had a nice little bounce back rally. We did hold that price support in here yesterday. And that's a nice, um, nice thing to see. But let's keep in mind that we did not change anything here in the chart with yesterday's rally. We're trying to bump up into this resistance area in the chart on the pre-market this morning. And keep in mind that once we, if we can get through there, we still have other resistance levels in the chart to deal with, such as the downtrend here in the chart and all these other resistance levels as we start moving back up. And let's keep in mind that as we do that, we have not, we will not, resolve this today and that is that we are still below our 50-day moving average and that 50-day moving average has flattened down so we still have a lot of work here to do and just remember as you rally back up 
um, we could run into resistance levels in this chart still and find some sellers. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now the QQQ has struggled for various reasons, one being rising bonds, and that really hasn't changed, and we'll look at that in just a second. But notice that as we rally back up, we have resistance levels in the chart. And if we take a look right here, we um, will be pushing some significant resistance in um, the NASDAQ um, as we push back up. So we'll have to see if we've got that energy to push right on through with, you know, some of these stumbling blocks out here that we still have to work on. Um, keep an eye on that 50 day moving average that's flattened out, starting to turn just a little bit. So watch that closely as a resistance level if we push right on through um, to that area. Then let's take a look. We have our 30 year bonds, whoops. Our 30 year bonds had pulled back a little bit yesterday, which was a nice thing to see. And this morning, they're only down, this morning in early morning trading, they were only down less than a one basis point. So we're still holding some support levels in this chart, as you can see. And we're going to have to watch this pretty closely because the, the debt ceiling is one reason folks might be running to bonds, but the other reason is this contagion um, of the developer defaults over there in China. Remember, China has been closed. China's market's been closed all week. They will reopen tonight, and they will have to do some catch up on the selling that has occurred over there um, in other markets. So watch that. There could be some issues in relation to bonds with that reopening. And then if we look at TNX-X, we've got our 10-year treasury and notice right in here that we did pull back a little bit from highs yesterday and we're sliding just ever so slightly this morning. So these bonds are continuing to hold up, at least at the moment. Now that may change, but we'll wanna watch that pretty closely because these are problematic for the NASDAQ, particularly problematic for the NASDAQ. So, and of course the Fed, um, um, any quarter basis point uh, move up in bonds um, adds $750 billion in debt service to our, um, well, to the taxpayers, to the national debt. So they are worried about this as well. So watch that QQQ. If these bonds continue to rally, that could um, obviously continue to cause some problems here. But it's nice to see a relief rally that may catch a little bit of uh, levity here and, and gain a little bit of ground. Just be careful not chasing um, right into resistance in the charts. And then let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM was moving down and looking pretty ugly yesterday, but had a nice little bounce rally um, after we saw oil sector stocks starting to perk up and then that debt ceiling um, added some levity to the financial sector as well. And that helped us lift back up, but we still have a lot of problems here to deal with. Let's notice we've got a year's worth of price congestion. Here in that chart, we have downtrends that still need to be broken. Um, in this chart, we have plenty of overhead resistance that we still have to work through. So we still have some challenges here in IWM, but it is nice to see that we're gonna pop back up and at least be testing that 50 day moving average as resistance here in the chart this morning. So watch that closely. Now let's take a look at some interesting charts here. Let's take a look at that T2122. It was really interesting yesterday in our T2122 that although we bounced and rallied yesterday, notice here, we still had more stocks hitting new lows than we had stocks hitting new highs. T2122 pulled back yesterday, which was unique. And what that really showed us is that those big tech stocks, how much weight they actually have. We can have a lot of the market moving down and just have the big techs moving up and still and, and show a very bullish rally in the market. So let's keep in mind that yesterday, even though we bounced, we still had more stocks making new lows than we had making new highs. Now this morning, that could change. We could see that 
uh, pop up here substantially. So what, let's watch this closely. We're kind of stuck in this range here um, right now um, in the chart, and we're going to need to see um, those bulls be able to push through and push on out of here. And if we do, we certainly have that potential that we could rally right up in here into that bearish reversal zone um, in the chart. And that may be up there around those 50 day moving average levels. So watch for that. And if those bears uh, continue to fight, and I kind of expect they will be a little bit pesky. Um, if they continue to fight or find inspiration to push back down, we certainly have plenty of room for a downside move to move down toward those 200 day moving average levels. Let's take a look at our T2107. This is another interesting chart yesterday. Notice that as we rallied yesterday in the afternoon and everyone just, oh, yay, it's by the dip. Everything is going to be great. Notice that we actually had more stocks moving below their 200 day moving average yesterday while we were showing that rally. So kind of an interesting circumstance. It really does show you the power of those big techs when they start to lift up. So watch that closely. Now this downtrend has yet to be um, uh, broken. So maybe we can do that today and maybe we can um, finally break above this little bit of a um, resistance level in the chart on T2107 because that will help a lot if we can get some of these stocks that are well below their 200 to start to lifting up that would provide um, some additional levity in the market so watch that closely we don't want to see them pop up in here and turn around and fail however that could be a problem for us and then our T2101 Oh, one the absolute market breadth. This was interesting yesterday. We had um, some energy in that market yesterday in that push, but notice how much um, that breadth has fallen here in this chart. So we've got a little problem here with market breadth, and that could point to a little bit of a momentum issue as we try to push forward to the upside. We'll want to watch that closely. Um, also, kind of keep in mind that um, we have this big old downtrend that's been in play here for a while. So we'll want to watch that closely as we continue to drift lower here on that market breadth. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, well, there we go. Our economic calendar has a um, few things this morning that we definitely want to pay attention to. And I mentioned some potential stumbling blocks um, this morning. And really the stumbling block this morning could be that jobless claim. Now, it could also be that, um, that thing that energizes the market here. Remember the last two jobless claims we have missed on that number. And they were once again um, in the consensus expecting a decline in that number. So we're going to have to watch this pretty closely. Um, if, if this were to come in um, worse than expected, then we could see that stumble in the market. We could see those bears reemerge. However, if, if it comes in better than expected, we could see that energize those bulls. So watch that closely. That could be an important number this morning. And unfortunately, it's before the market opens. So um, there's not much we can do with it. And just follow along um, when that does happen. And then we do have um, the um, natural gas report today. Now, normally natural gas doesn't mean any much of anything in here, but with the pressures that we're seeing um, over in Europe, Europe right now is experiencing a 500% increase in natural gas prices um, as uh, Russia kind of tightens their grip um, on Europe. And then we're seeing that energy crunch in China that's actually shutting down provinces and shutting down factories and things like that going on. Natural gas could start to become a little bit more important here um, of a number. So watch that close. Then we have Fed speaker and then later on today the Fed balance sheet, which doesn't seem to matter as we approach eight and a half trillion dollars in central bank debt. And then as we plan forward, guys, one of the things that can happen on a day like today is we get through the morning volatility and then we could really see um, there is that possibility. We could see the market become very light and choppy because everyone's going to turn their attention toward that employment situation number 
and um, we'll have to wait for that coming out tomorrow morning so watch for that carefully then let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar today we have one of our bigger days of the week we have quite a few quite a few listed on the calendar today but unfortunately the majority of them are not verified and there's not much in there in the way of uh, notables but i did pull out a couple notables this morning that we'll want to take a look at take a look at cag cag con agri now this one of the reasons why this might be particularly notable is we know food costs are continuing to rise with inflation and every time gas prices or fuel prices go up it costs more money to produce the food it costs more money to transport the food to your uh, grocery store or wherever it is so all of those food prices are likely to continue to see substantial increases so keep an eye on this conagra could be one of those charts that you want to keep an eye on notice coming up out of this bottom getting through those downtrends got this nice little bottoming formation and this nice higher low in the chart this is also one of those patterns where we break above that 50-day moving average and held right in here so we have kind of that rounded bottom breakout appearance we just don't have enough percentage up to that 200 to officially claim it as an rbb but watch that closely pretty good looking chart here at the moment worth keeping an eye on you might also want to keep an eye on um healy healy will be reporting today now obviously this is not in a bullish pattern not looking so good helen of troy watch that closely it'll report this morning so with that everyone how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that if y'all could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these uh, videos to be helpful to be worthy please do me a favor click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment it's the it's the engagement with the video that makes a difference, helps the channel grow, and I would really appreciate your help in that continuing. And also, please do me that other favor and click that share button and share this video out on your social feeds. That helps a lot as well. Um, and just a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link. Um, I truly appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to the changes coming. Um, it's going to be kind of fun. So y'all um, get ready. That's coming your way here before too long. So let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up here. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, make sure you do your own due diligence. You understand the risk in these trades. And I do always let you know if I'm in a position um, that I have a bias on those trades because I am holding those positions. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look here. Um, one of the charts that I think is pretty darn interesting is uh, KMI, natural gas. Natural. This is a natural gas pipeline. And KMI breaking this uh, long-term downtrend in the chart. Notice that we've pushed up into this area right in here and we're trying to hold a level of price support in here so keep an eye on this if we can find some energy and we may have to consolidate more i'm not saying it's ready to go just yet um, watch this in here for that next opportunity that that could start pushing higher we know nat gas is becoming a big deal um, here lately so watch that closely um, kmi is looking pretty good other energy stocks take a look at <clears throat> stocks like Schlumberger, um, really showing some strength here, um, breaking these, these lows, these bottoms. We've busted that downtrend. We're starting to hold higher lows. I keep a close eye on these, and there's a lot in this sector that's showing that bullishness. So watch in here um, that opportunity that that could move on higher. 
as those energy prices continue to show signs of strength. Um, other places that you might want to look, take a look at some of the financials. Let's go over here to um, Goldman Sachs. Um, Goldman Sachs is trying to break some downtrend here. Notice right in here, trying to come through this downtrend, we have a double bottom pattern in this chart. So now that we're trying to push up through these levels, let that, let that rest up here, see if that can hold and look for that opportunity in that trade here on Goldman. If we can break these downtrends, if we take a look at XLF, we noticed yesterday we had a pretty substantial pop in here and we're trying to break through some resistance here in that, um, that kind of triple top high up here in financials. So take a look at those. We've got stocks like um, BAC, BAC looking very bullish here not break it they've already broken their downtrend they've broken out here and you can see trying to push on higher in those charts other places in financials that may be coming up out of bottoms take a look at like visa now visa has been struggling 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 here but notice we've got a um, pretty substantial bottom in here that um, or support level that's coming into play. Let's keep an eye on this. This may be coming up out of here. We might be breaking that downtrend, trying to push through to the upside. So it might be worth keeping a close eye on some of those um, areas of, if we um, do start to recover. In the refining area you uh, and um, exploration area, take a look at um, like Valero. Valero Energy pushing here to the upside in a nice move. Now we do have some resistance in this chart coming up, but watch this area up here. If we can kind of rest or even consolidate, maybe even push through that area and hold up here, then we have some opportunity. We know with fuel prices going up, they're probably gonna crank up those refiners to produce more. So watch that closely. And then um, rig, take a look at RIG. Um, whoops, in that exploration area. Notice that we've got this nice little bottoming pattern that's come into play and a pretty substantial level of price support in the chart. Now watch this right in here. We may have to bounce around a little bit more more. Notice that our trend is actually out here. This may need a little bit more time, but then we have that opportunity to maybe kick this in gear and get going to the upside. Um, take a look at KHC. KHC, another interesting bottoming pattern. Now this is a consumer defensive area and one of those food stocks again. Food and farm stocks, take a look at those guys because they, they are starting to show signs of bullishness and it's just these food pricing pressures continuing to build here in the market. So we're holding this bottoming pattern, holding up in here showing some signs of bullishness and trying to push through um, even today. Notice that's coming up through that 50 day moving average and a natural target would be up there around that 200 day. So could provide a little bit of upside move here in KHC. So with that guys, there's a few charts for you to take a look at. I wanna wish everyone just a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great success in your trading. Once again, just a warning, be careful about chasing stocks right into price resistance levels those bears have been doggone feisty and they may remain feisty remember china reopens tonight that could create some um uh, some volatility um in the markets and then we have the um, employment situation number in the morning so plan carefully think cautiously in this market with the volatility and trade wisely we'll talk to you all bright and early friday morning have a great one everyone